In France, mealtimes are sacred, and since the 19th of November 2010, the French mealtime tradition features in the UNESCO World Heritage List in the intangible category. To celebrate this prestigious recognition, a number of events are currently taking place across France, with the first ever gastronomy festival leading the way. Francis Chevrier runs the European Institute for the History and Culture of Food, and he was behind the bid for World Heritage status. In France, mealtimes are something of a ritual. We prepare a great meal for a family gathering, for a professional event, for getting together with friends. This is what France's gastronomic meal is all about. It's that part of the day when a group of people sit down together and share some good food. France's gastronomic heritage has been passed down from generation to generation through families and also restaurants. The world's first restaurants were in France. Restaurant is a French word and has been incorporated into other languages. During the French Revolution, the cooks employed by princes and aristocrats lost their jobs and moved on. And what did they do? They did what they knew best, cook. They opened up restaurants in Paris, and Paris became a hotbed of fine dining establishments. One of them being the Grand Vefort, which is tucked inside the Palais Royal. It's been a pillar of French gastronomy for over 200 years. And for the gastronomy festival, the current chef, Guy Martin, decided to open up his kitchens to the general public. A French gastronomic meal means using the best ingredients in the world. This is our own fish market with European lobster. Seasonal flowers, chives, aren't they wonderful? Strong and straight. Over the years, the market gardeners, the oyster farmers, the independent farmers and growers, the breeders, they have done their utmost to supply their best products, whilst our mothers have passed on their know-how. Le savoir -faire. Guy Martin takes this know-how and applies it to his dishes, like this cod with mushroom sauce or this artichoke tart with almond glaze. He gives old classics an inventive twist, and these dishes taste as good as they look. The French elegance is ever-present. This is a dessert, it's like a box, and everything's inside. But it's not just the dishes and products, the ceremonial aspect is also very important. We have a set order to our meals. Starter, main, cheese, dessert. We drink wine with our meal. We choose a wine to complement our food. This is something we take very seriously. And it would be unthinkable to sit down to a gastronomic meal without some good bread. Baker Christophe Vasseur uses a traditional recipe with organic flour. The dough is left to sit for two days and then baked in the oven for one hour. What wonderful bread! Look at that! It has a very thick crust, a yellow honeycombed interior. This is typical French bread. We used to have big blocks of bread, not baguettes. The baguette was introduced in the 1930s, but for hundreds of years we ate bread shaped like this. And on the 23rd of September, to bring the gastronomy festival to his bakery, Christophe Vasseur prepared a typical French snack, or casse-croûte, which quite literally means to break bread. The ham and butter sandwich is the French sandwich. And here I'm using exceptional butter, exceptional bread and exceptional ham. The perfect casse-croûte as we say in French. And as a good Frenchman, I should be having a glass of red wine with this. But I'm working so I can't. The Toussaint Restaurant event is also aimed at showcasing French gastronomy. A number of eateries across the country are taking part in this event, which runs until the 25th of September. The principle, buy one meal, get one free. On the menu in this Parisian establishment, quail stuffed with foie gras, miso marinated hake and a chocolate souffle. A menu for two at 75 euros. High quality gastronomy at low prices. This week is not about making a profit. It's about giving people who can't usually afford to eat in restaurants like this the opportunity to do so. When the Tout au Restaurant reservation service opened, we were fully booked within one and a half hours for both lunch and dinner. This success reflects the current craze in France for fine cuisine and the ever-growing number of lessons, books and food programs on offer. It's important to share this national heritage and even more important, to pass it on.